Hey y'all, welcome to another 110 second 11 the show where we break down one 11 concept in 11 seconds or less. That's right, 110 seconds or less. This week, we're gonna dive into the world of custom filters in 11 We'll use one built-in filter and then we'll create two custom filters all in the 110 seconds, right? So let's put 110 seconds on the clock and let's code. 11 template filters are ways of manipulating data in a variable tag in your template language of choice. Each template language brings its own set and 11 adds a few defaults as well. To use a built-in filter, <clears throat> write a variable or expression in your language of choice. Here's a liquid template that will display the string hi there on the page. Once you have that, add a pipe character in the filter's name. In this case, the built-in slugify filter will convert the string to a URL appropriate string. Next, to make a custom filter, we need to have a configuration file. We'll create the .11d.js file in our project root. From there, we'll export out a function that has the 11 config option and use the add filter method on that object. The method takes two properties, a name for the filter to use in the template and a function that will be used to mutate the data. In this case, we'll make an uppercase filter to convert our string to all uppercase. The function we'll make takes as the first argument the string the filter is applied to. In this case, we'll use string.toUppercase in JavaScript to return the mutated string. Then we can use that in the template. You can also adjust markup around your string as well. In this case, we'll take the bad idea of adjusting the string's color in our filter. Any argument after the first in our filter will be the options that can be passed into the filter. In this case, a color string. We can wrap the string in a span and then set the color in line. That way we can use this in the template. All right, well, I hope this has encouraged you to go and explore filters and set up some of your own for some customized use cases. Now, if you found this helpful, I would really appreciate a like and a comment down below. Uh, and if nothing else, I hope you keep doing amazing things with 11D and I'll see you on the internet.